Alright guys, so welcome back. More Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we're just cruising on. We're just cruising through these main quests. Uh, let me see here. So we're at... That's not it. That's the quest we're gonna do. We're at, um... 7 out of 14. 7 out of 14. So I think today we might be able to get... three At least up to 10 out of 14 for the, for the day. Um, we're just cruising on. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Trying to get this close to finish, so... Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to quest, and we'll go to, uh, uh, speak to the portrait of Professor Namh, or whatever, Fitz Fitzgerald in the map chamber. So, let's go to map, let's go to Hogwarts, and is this it? This is, that is underground, I'm not sure how to get there. I think it's, oh, the secret area map chambers, yep, okay. Oof. I think I keep I don't understand why I keep saying I equip better gear. But I have the the gear that I want, the best of the best. Not the best of the best, but it's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Does that count as a mate quest, though? It doesn't. Like a side quest. We're gonna do that right now, though. We're just gonna go ahead and talk to this portrait. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Oh, wow. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Hmm. This is... a little concerning. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. How nice to see you. A little concerning because I think I need Alamohara, Alamohara, Mar, whatever you call it, the lockpick in level 3, I think. I hope that's not the case because that would suck. Because these, those things are hard to find. So you need 8 and then you need 15 and you need like 13 after that. But those, uh, to upgrade your lockpick picking but I hope I don't have to that's uh we'll see so let's go ahead and speak to <laughs> professor fig in his office Revelio. Revelio. is there a okay there's not okay I thought there was like a locked a locked room somewhere Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. <laughs> I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? 
Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. Oh, a poly polyjuice potion. Polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It, it does. does. So how yeah, do you funny. already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. I know this, is, this tastes like shit. He's probably not gonna like the taste of it. Yep. Wow, dude. Holy shit. Yo, it's so weird. Yo, <laughs> a Professor Black, bro. How do you feel? feel? Yeah. Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. Really? As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Oh. Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from <laughs> Professor Black. <laughs> this is so weird. I'll see you there. It's me, but I'm Professor Black. Yo! Can I do magic, bro? Yo! Check this out, guys. Holy shit! I'm Professor Black? I'm Professor Black? Yo! <laughs> this feels so weird. Professor, a moment of your... Professor. I was hoping to oh, catch shit. your eye... Oh, I, um... Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Uh, I would decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. This is the most weirdest. Well, to determine which student gets this rather... Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Oh my god, bro. Imagine being just... Yo... You do, I bet if you if get you caught, you would get so. You get. I heard the headmaster approaching. You'd get like suspended, like, without a doubt. What if I speak to him? Gareth, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him. Ah. The little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Uh-oh. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. That's... Weasley. That's so cool. Just tell everybody what to do. All right, guys, can't be here. There's one for my diary. So I can't use magic though, but I have my wand. So this look at everything that's just like transforming. Like we had Halloween stuff, and now we got Easter or not Easter Christmas stuff. 
Really cool. Speak to Madame Kakawa Has seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor Black. <laughs> Imagine I can talk. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I, <laughs> I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find mustache paste. Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Doesn't this potion, like, last like an hour? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. That would be unwise. You know, if I was, I was, if I was in this situation, I'd be like, yeah, go ahead, Quidditch, back up and running, instantly like that. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I. Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder why. Huh. Good day, Madam Kagawa. All right, buddy. Uh, learn the password from Scroll. What did we do to deserve him as a head? You call that a shy? Yeah, apparently, boots people don't like him do as a better. headmaster. Oh no, it's the headmaster, and he's coming this way. Ah, uh, you're fine. I'll leave you alone. Places the bee. I get places the bee. Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Uh, he's handling secret ministry matters. Ah, well, yes. He's <laughs> handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but I'm happy to look in. Uh, good. Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Okay. Just act normal. Just act like Mr. Bl Professor Black. Any way for Professor Fig? I shall never understand. All right, students. Everybody, to give out of Professor here. Fig some breathing room. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Uh, hem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. <laughs> I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. Heck yeah. Awesome. 
Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Really? Why? Oh, I know oh, why. Dare you In case somebody me? transfer... I've a mind to give like, you a um, set of ears. Disguises as him. Uh, uh, so. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Uh, it's to do with my purity of blood. I guess. I don't know. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. I don't uh, speak French. I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Is it that easy? Oh, I'm... Um... The polyjuice potion's wearing off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I best get out of sight. Because it, it, like, it, like, lasts, like, an hour or something like that. I mean, technically, it's a game, so it's not going to last an hour, but in Harry Potter <sighs> series, it lasts... It lasts... It's wearing off. It lasts an hour. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. That's crazy. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Heck yeah. Now, what do I gotta do? Revelio. I thought I grabbed this chest. I could have sworn I grabbed it. Um. Access to headmaster's office. Now, I wonder if, um, since everything turns into, like, Halloween and Christmas, I wonder Revenue. if it'll turn into, like, Valentine and stuff, or, uh, Easter stuff. That'd be pretty cool if it does. There is this, but where is... Okay, so it's these two. I guess we can... we have time? I think we have to. Uh, let's see. 15. 16, 17. Uh, seven. So, gonna be like the googly alien at one AI, that whatever you wanna call it. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, snake eyes is th three snake head, or three dragon head is, let's see, three. Seven. Nah, that can't be right. Um, three, nine, twelve. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do that later. I'll just go ahead and head to uh, headmaster's office. I hope I don't need the uh, lock picking level two. Revelio. Spell. I just want. I thought I got this. Descendo. Uh, troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll that had that it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. You can't imagine how You would think a lot of the stuff I've already been through on this character. Revelio. Uh, 
Oh, level... Is it level 2 or level 3? Ooh, yeah, I might need the locksmithing or lockpicking level 2. Yikes, or maybe not. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. The master's office gargoyle. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. Toujours pure. Oh. Pretty cool, pretty cool. To Joel Pierre. All the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Let's see here. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running school, a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Yeah. Glacius. Well, you're eventually you're gonna have to wake up. Revelio. Ah, uh, the sorting hat. Uh, this enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means of, by which students would be placed into one of the four schoolhouses. Skilled that legitimacy, the sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Force level three lock. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Uh, what will I find in the what book? What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Oh, very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Rebellion! Res receipt hair tonic mustache wax. Good god. <laughs> Back scratcher gold handled. Uh paid in very small part remainder remainder to be billed to ministry. What in the world, dude? That must be the pedestal. Oh shit. Where am I? What in Professor the world? Professor Gerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neem. Neem. Okay, that's your name. I was wondering how you Shall pronounce it. Witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Whoa. You must move swiftly and cautiously. What the Use hell? Use the tools you encounter to find me. Uh... The first you will need is a cloak. Make your way through the town without this being place, seen? As in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What the fuck? Um, without being seen, I can't even use my spells. Oh, there we go. Damn it, I can't. This is very trippy. I should have run when I could. I can free by now. Very trippy on what's happening right now.
must move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. No, 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 don't you dare see me. I see. A staircase straight ahead. This is just very trippy. Like, the, the coloring of everything. I gotta make my move now. There you go. Like, is it really supposed to look like this? Everything looks dull. Oh, shit. To find me if I go up there. Oh shit, hurry up. Well, they've already spotted me. It's not too late, right? Or maybe they're not even looking. Okay, go. We just gotta go. Wait a minute, what? Oh, okay. I was like, where do I go? I said go on the roof, but. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I don't know, it's just too Let's many. Cross this road as fast as I can. Yo, this is just the most trippiest thing That's I've ever seen. I need to go, but oh my I god, need to find a way past them. Oh my god, don't you dare come look this way, I swear. Right, my concern is this guy right here. He hasn't moved. Now, okay, now he's moving. Yeah, I just gotta make a make a run for it, and with any possibility of doing it as best as I can. Nothing this way. No danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. This is... Oh, shit! Alright, buddy, listen. Oh, no. Oh, this is... I don't think. Fuck. Oh. Now's my chance. Yeah, I don't know if this is my chance. He might just go, 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 I think I'm invisible. Oh, really? Like completely invisible? Okay, so how do I? Where am I going, actually? Okay, so I can't jump. Wait. Am I going here? No, I can't go up, and I can't go that way. Maybe through one of these doors. Oh, we have to go through the gate. Okay, I see. Or not? I don't. So now they can't see they me. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Neem? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. What? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Mysterious wand. So that means I can fight back? I think. I can't hide. 
so I might be able to fight back. I've never felt such power. There you go. Wait, why is my magic upside down? That's very weird. Bombarder. Huh. Now we're gonna fight back. Yeah, fuck with me now, death. Oh crap. Damn, I did 9,000 crit damage. Oh no! Defender! Defender! Bombarder! Bombarder! Is it over? I hear somebody screaming. <laughs> it's weird. It's like another battle. Oh my god. Imagine we have to fight him. Holy crap. All right. Calm down. Damn it. I keep forgetting. It's why to do that. Okay. The one time where I want to actually dodge my attack. Just not giving up, are you? Descender, defender, defender, descender, bombarder. Stupid, Oh, that was close. Eleven hundred. Eleven thousand. That was eleven thousand. Bombarda. Descender. Defender. Potato. Stupid one. Bombarda. Defender. Damn it! I was trying to dodge it, but. Defender. Bombarder. 
Defender. Defender. The ball Protect. Oh my god, bro. These trolls. Bombarder. Defender. Descender. The pulse. Bombarder. I think I should have saved it. I might, I might have been a waste, but it's Stupid. fine. Bombarder. Defender. Beat the battle in five minutes. Man, is this over yet? Oh my god. Let's hope this is the actual trial or not. You're and then not far from finished. Complete the trial of the stone. Oh, poor Neve. Complete the trial of the stone. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. I found you. Witness Naim Fitzgerald's memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. But darkness is not a good thing. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay, I'll take into consideration. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow, it enhances my ability to wield magic. Well, that's not good. I think it's I taking control it, over, over you. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Nia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Oh, wow. He's taking control over her. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it.
Wow. It's taking control of her. Like, it's not good. Whoa, uh, how did I get here? Return to the map chambers. Speak to the newly arrived keeper. Oh, there's a new one. Is it oh, time? this guy. Has someone completed the first three trials? Sin Baker. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. It was kind of disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rockwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora uh, was inhaling <laughs> emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. Mm -hmm. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. <laughs> I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Fire whiskey? <laughs> so I think that was... I think that was it. Yeah. The Hollowed Hero. Build a Deadly Hollow. So that, I think this is the last memory. It looks like we got one, two, three, and that seems like to be all of them. Last memory. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. All right. Uh, let me double check some. Oh, wow. So you need to learn Bombardo. Alright, so I can't continue unless I learn Bombardo. So guys, uh, we're going to end this part here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show me acquiring... I mean, it couldn't be too hard, right? Acquire a giant purple two with an knapsack and acquire... All I got to do is acquire them, so, and then we can learn Bombardo. But anyways, I uh, appreciate everybody watching this video. Uh, we're going to end it here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.